Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Zara blazer, workwear, kind of a whole bit of a mixture. Um, so yeah, hope you like my hair, natural state, and this beautiful dress that I got. The dress is from River Island. Um, I saw it and I just had to have it. I think it's just so different and so unique. Love the polka dot. Looks really feminine. Um, couldn't find a link on the website. But I'll have a look around again today, try and have a look or something similar. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. This flower um, arrangement is from Costco, if you're wondering. It's fake flowers, but it's really beautiful. So yeah. <laughs> okay, here is look number one. Very like 1970s, colourful, it girl kind of look, natural hair. I'm wearing this um, like tank top from Zara. Love it. You've seen it in so many videos. You have to get it. It's £10. You will wear it so many things. The skirt is super, super cute. Got a little cut here. Tweed material. Zip is on the side. I got the skirt in a size small and it fits like a glove. Fits really, really nicely on. Um, no pockets, but that's fine. And then the jacket I got in a small, but... I think I should have sized down and got an extra small. The reason I got a small is that I thought the Zara jacket that I blazer that I owned before was too tight, but apparently I was wrong and it's fine because I thought oh I'll size up right, but I've sized oh <laughs> done the buttons wrong. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing! <laughs> it's so funny because my toenails are um are orange and my nails are white. I'm always ruining my nails. I never let them dry and I just like paint so many coats on. Anyways, so yeah, as you can see the jacket is a bit bulky on me. Doesn't have really padded shoulders. Just a bit strong, powerful straw shoulders. Pockets, are they real? Are they fake? Let's find out together. Okay, the pockets. You have to open them up, the pockets. But they're not really... Look at the materials like, these are so cool, right? So like, you know, 80s, 70s, not real pockets. You can open them aside, but they're not like properly pockets. You'll just be going into the material, which I don't personally like to do. But yeah, love the color. As you can see, when you close the jacket, like it looks like you're just wearing a jacket dress. But I need to size down the jacket because I got a small, where is the tag? I got a size small and the jacket is £80. So this is a very expensive outfit. Um, my advice would be if you love it, buy it. If you don't, wait for the sale. Only thing I would probably say to buy would be the skirt. The skirt is cute and you can just wear it by yourself. But then it is kind of winter time. I don't know. I just buy things because I think they're pretty and I just keep them and I wear them when I wear them. But this is a cute look. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, is that the 1970s calling? My next look is for the working girls, the colourful girls who want to stand out in the office but still look professional. This is the Zara um, suit two-piece in blush pink, lovely colour. Love the trousers, got them in a size small and they fit like amazingly. Same tank top as, tam, tank top as before and this time we do have pockets which is really really nice. I believe these are thirty pounds. Oh. Okay, twenty eight pounds, and then the blazer is um, sixty pounds. Actually, let me have a look because I may be wrong. The blazer, yeah, is sixty pounds. I got it in a size small. But this is a really nice work outfit. I do think you can wear this in the office. Of course. It does depend on the kind of industry that you work in and the people who you work with as well. So this is a small. I think this is actually fine for size. It doesn't feel too bad. I can't see though. I don't have a mirror in front of me, unfortunately. Wrong room to do a haul in. I'm doing it in the living room because the lighting and the background and scenery. But yeah. Okay, maybe an extra small. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's cute. You can also just wear it with... Um, a nice pair of shoes and just kind of go for that workwear look outside if that's to your taste otherwise if you're not fitting the blazer you could just leave the blazer 
and get the trousers because they themselves are really really nice and wear something like this like summertime or like you know that springtime where you just kind of want to cover up the legs but you know show a little bit of skin yeah I really like this so pink isn't colorful enough for you then go for yellow this would definitely brighten up your day and everyone else that you meet today because this is bright <laughs> again trousers are in a size small fit perfectly jacket i think actually i would size down yellow is too colorful for myself this yellow it looked a bit like less yellow <laughs> on the website um the pink is fine i like the pink but this one a bit too much for me. Maybe if it was summertime, then I would change my mind because we're going into autumn winter. I'm a bit like, mmm, and I don't know where I'd wear it. I don't know if I'm comp I think no, I'm confident enough to wear it, but I don't really have. I'm working right now, currently working from home, and then I hopefully be working in a copy one day, so I don't really have places to wear this. Um, if I was still working in the office, then yeah, like, I love color does have padded shoulders this one as we said before the pockets did we say that before the pockets are are they real i don't think the pockets are real like they're sewed up but you could take the stitching out but i don't think it's like actual made pockets yeah love the button detail if you can see really really nice and here in the front if you already know zara has the button and then the hook and the zip, so lots of security. Not so nice when you want to use the loop. <laughs> but, but yeah, really like this, very colourful. Really comfortable as well, which is really important. So £30, £60 on the expensive side, so definitely buy this if you know you're going to wear it, if you're a colourful person. Otherwise, I would stick for the pink one. I have been so desperate for a white blazer for the longest time ever. I finally got it and it's too big. Oh my gosh, the pain. I think an extra small was out of stock because I'm pretty sure I do want to get extra small on this. And I think that's where my problem started. Had to get small and it's too small. And I, knowing Zara, they're not going to restock. I'm probably going to have to go to every single Zara store and have a look for this because I absolutely love it. I want it in my life, but it's just too big. Um, with jeans, like this section is nice, but you can see the top section is a bit loose and the sleeves are too long. It's not a thick blazer, not as thick as the other one I had. I'm not sure whether it's just the white material or just the design has changed, but it's a really, really nice blazer. 80 pounds, no, 70 pounds, size small. Pairing up with jeans, I would also wear a dress underneath this, like a white dress, and just, you know, have a coat over it, as I do like to wear the blazers instead of the coat. Um, but yeah, I love this. Love, love, love this. It's just so unfortunate that it's the wrong size. But yeah, classic piece that every girl needs in her wardrobe. As soon as I finish wrapping up this video, I'm going on the Zara website and getting this in a size extra small because I love it. It's beautiful. I love the whole like blazer jean look, like kind of work casual or professional casual. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I would personally wear this out just going out, doing my errands, um, like for, like shopping, maybe going to my laser hair removal treatment. Um, meeting up with a friend, just you know, just browsing around maybe like London. Love this. It's not thick, it's not going to keep you warm, but it will be worn all the way, all throughout the year. You can wear it in summertime on a chilly day, you can wear it in spring, you can wear it in autumn, uh, maybe not winter unless you're indoors. <laughs> but yeah, love it, love the colour, love the feel of it. <sighs> just have um, padded short pads. So with the Zara blazers, blazers, you have this button in the middle and what you want to do is put it on like this way and that will make it flat and then you put this one like that 
And there you go. You're off if you want to wear it like this. Pockets? No. We don't have pockets. They're just there for looking pretty. Anyways, no problem. We'll get a nice little bag and enjoy the day out. So be it. When did it? Since I got it in the pink, gotta get it in the blue. So yeah, I don't think I said the price of the other one. It's 60 pounds this blazer. Size small, but as I said, I'm gonna get a size extra small as I think it'll fit better. The blue again is really nice, not as pretty as the pink, but I think it will be nice if you can afford to to get both colours as you know the staple colours, you're always gonna wear them, doesn't matter the um, the trend or the season or what's going on in the world, you know, blue and pink, like you know, classics. But yeah, like it. For definitely for someone who is a bit more doesn't want to always be pink and girly and wants to be a bit more calm down and neutral. Although I also got it in green. I got all the colours. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the green because the green is actually really nice as well. But yeah, the blue is nice. I really love these buttons here. They're really cute. And with the material, as you can, I don't know if you can tell, you can tell more on this one. But like, it's a bit, what's the word? It is like, I can't remember the word. But you can see I can pick the material. The best thing method to um, get rid of that is to get a razor and just go gently and it will get rid of that. Um, and if you are washing it, try and wash it by hand if it's just a stain, otherwise wash it inside out. But yeah, cute hey? As I said, I got it in the green too. So, a bit expensive if you want to get all three colours but you've seen now I personally like the pink best. The blue also is really, really nice. The green is cute and it's perfect for this season, but I'm a colorful person. I like bright colors in your face and the pink one just does that for me. And I know I will take care of that and love that pink one for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Uh, so yeah, the pink one is the one for me. But if you like a bit more cool colors, a bit more casual, a bit more um, calm down. This is really nice. Blazer is so comfy. I didn't show you the inside, but it's lined for like a satin material. Super comfy. Size small. You can go to work in it and just wear it with jeans, or if you don't feel comfortable wearing jeans to work. Oh yeah, like jean day on Friday. Some companies do that. You can definitely wear um, <laughs> um, trousers. Um, just depends how you style it up. But yeah. What I really like about this look is that it's quite um, versatile. It could be worn both in an office and in like, you know, usually like day to day. Of course, the leather is going to be controversial depending on the type of work you wear, um, what you work in. Um, just, you know, you know best, you know your employer best. Um, if you're working like in a call center, it doesn't really matter, does it? But yeah, it's like industries, maybe not. But this would be really cool just to going out, go out as well. You could go out on a date with this or hanging out with the girls for coffee. I would personally wear some heels with it just to dress it up a little bit more. Maybe like some sandal heels um, or some booties. So the leather trousers are like wide legged. I really, really like them because the ones I have currently are like legging ones or like really tight skinnies and you know what i prefer these i prefer that they're kind of you know a bit more like trousers and a bit more wide i think they just look more nicer but yeah i'll try on the legging ones because i feel like most people have the skinny ones so i'll let you you see how it looks with that one on as well and i'll put some heels on as well again jacket size is completely wrong i got a small it is is it 80 pounds? Let's have a look together. Yes, it's 80 pounds. The leather trousers are 30 pounds. Pretty good price. They feel really good, comfortable. I got a 36, which is an 8. Reason being because I thought they'd be quite stretchy, so I don't think I need a 10. And yeah, they feel pretty good. Yeah, this is the look. I would just go out with the girls, drinking, or just a casual day. Cute little bag. Yeah. I hope you like it. I think it's really cool. 
let me put on the other leg so this is what it look uh, this is what it looks like with the leather um, legging kind of style jeans so them is nice I think I think the other ones are nicer but to be honest if you already own you know legging style tight leather trousers then I wouldn't bother getting another pair you won't wear them honestly they'll just end up like you wear one of them and not the other so don't waste it um, but yeah, I like this look. I actually paired it up with the pair of heels, really, really over the top heels, and I probably would not wear this outfit. I got these from LK um, Bennett. Only problem is I got a 36 and I'm actually a 37. But I'm a 36 and a half, to be honest. Um, so I can just get away with them. They're a little bit uncomfortable, but I just tell myself, you know. Because they fit like, it's not like I'm struggling to get them on or um, off or anything. It's just a little bit tight in the front. But I think like with a couple more wears, they'll just get comfortable. Because I have another pair of shoes that are size 3 when... And I have another pair of size 4. So the size 4 ones are too big. And the size 3 ones are a little bit too small. Like, it's really annoying to be in the middle because yeah, I get this problem a lot. Like even with flat shoes, I can buy flat shoes that are size 4 and they'll be too big and then I'll buy a size 3 and um, they're too small, so. Anyways, such is life. I have a date tomorrow. This would have been a cute little look for a date. But it's the first day and I'm trying to look good, you know. I'm going to wear a dress because I want to have him mesmerized. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to wear though. I have an outfit in mind. But I don't know if I want to wear it. I would just... <sighs> if I had my leather thigh... If I had my thigh hair boots, I would wear it. But my mum threw them away. Can you imagine? Can, can you throw my leather boots away? So... Not leather. Thigh hair boots away. So I need to purchase new ones. This is such a cute outfit. Perfect for this season. Just love it. It's very much... Just going out looking casual but you know literally it's just a top white pants and then I put this on just to bust it up a little bit more padded tweed the material does fall off and I wouldn't wear jewelry that would um, snag on it so be careful with that this is 80 pounds I know these trousers I got from River Island and the top is from Zara you already know the top um, really like it. Fit wise, I think it fits okay for a small. Yeah, I think it actually fits pretty nice. Maybe because it's a bit longer. This would be nice in autumn and winter because it is actually warm. If you don't, you know, you want to look nice still. I'm going to try with some other trousers I have from Zara. The top is not going to work. But let me just have a quick look. But yeah, this is cute. I would go on a date with this, you know, someone who you've been dating for a couple of dates, like one of the guys I've been out a couple of dates with. <laughs> and then, you know, wear a nice white bag. I don't own a white bag. I need to purchase one um, or have someone purchase one for me. <laughs> it's my birthday coming up, so that's why I'm a bit OTT. Um, but yeah, I think this is cute. 80 pounds just to look cute. Um, depends whether you think it's worth it. I would potentially look and wait until the sale comes because you could probably nab this get this for like half price if you want to wait if you love it you want it now get it now and if you're gonna wear it now get it now but if you can wait a little bit then get it later then you may miss your window of wearing it when are the Zara sales is it next year like in January can't even remember so here are the trousers and they work perfectly look really really nice let me cover it up because the top does not match at all but yeah this would be perfect in winter time as you can see the top is white the trousers are cream so i bought this in like 2019 2020 but i've never had the chance to wear these trousers because one i was living in greece and two i don't have a top that matches all the tops i have are like white i need to find a cream top so yeah but love them got them in the sale i think they were like 20 pounds they probably had a matching top, but I just couldn't, wasn't lucky enough to get it. It 
you definitely make a lot of noise when you walk with these two outfits on. The jacket is 80 pounds, going a size small, definitely size down back to an extra small as it's too big. These leather colours are not exactly the same. Um, this is different brown shade. However, I think it just about works. To, you know, hopefully the person's eyes are not like 2020. Um, but yeah, potential look if you like that leather on leather look. Because brown leather on brown leather, I don't think I've ever seen it before. But yeah, I think it's cool. This is from Zara. These like pig bag um, trousers, I got them from River Island. Really cute. I haven't had the chance to wear them out yet. I just have too many clothes, so it's, sometimes it's difficult for me to wear them. But I was potentially thinking this could be an outfit. However, what I'm going to do is going to change them to um, jeans and let you see what it looks like with jeans on. But as I said, size down in this jacket. Or get your normal Zara size. Well, jackets can be a bit problematic with Zara because I buy things in small, some things in extra, extra small. Yeah, that's the problem with Zara. You either have to go in the store or watch Zara videos. So here's a look I would more likely wear. Just with these dark um, Zara jeans. Put a belt on as well, but I can't be asked to go to my room and find a belt. But yeah, something like this. As I said, um, I would get this in a size extra small. I'm an 8 to 10 in most um, like other stores. But yeah, keeping it casual and I would um, wear some white trainers. So either my Air Force Ones or my Adidas trainers, the Stan Smith ones. But yeah, I like this look. Cute, casual, um, a lot of jewellery on, lots of rings, lots of necklaces. Go out, coffee, shopping day out, just having fun.